Greetings from Addis Ababa, the diplomatic capital of Africa and the seat of the African Union. And I am Dr. Desta Megu, the liaison for the Diaspora Africa Forum to the African Union. We're so thankful today and only wish we could be there in Accra as the flag for the sixth region of Africa is hoisted into the air next to the flag of the African Union, the flag of Ghana, and of course our flag, the Diaspora Africa Forum. We've long awaited this symbolic representation, an important notion that we are indeed the sixth region of Africa and that Africans at home and abroad can be proud today as we gather to hoist this incredible flag that represents us, that includes us. So as we continue to work towards our reintegration, repatriation and reinvolvement with the continent, we say yebo, we say give thanks, we say amaseganalu for this incredible day in history, the launching of the flag of the sixth region of Africa. Africa is still growing. Africans are connecting to each other. Africans around the world are getting to realize how powerful they are when they come together. Thank you very much for checking me out. This is Ekko Simpson. I appreciate you being part of my YouTube channel. Today being on the 2nd February 2022, I want to announce to you that the official flag for the African diaspora, which is the sixth region in AU or Africa, has been unleashed. Beautiful. So this event happened in Accra today and I was like, yo, I think we're getting somewhere. So I'm going to show you a snippet of what really happened today at the unveiling of the African diaspora flag, which represents the sixth region in the AU African Union. Peace. Beautiful event happening here in Ghana 2022. I am praying that we see a lot of collaborations with Africans in and outside the motherland. I mean, today on the 2nd of February 2022, there's been a beautiful event which I already made mention, you know, uh, unveiling of the set region in the AU, the African diaspora flag. You know, within the African Union, uh, there are already five regions which is the North Africa, West Africa, East Africa, Southern Africa, Central Africa, and now the set one will constitute the African diaspora, you know, uh, learning from schools and learning from books and speaking to other African. It's good to be connecting with these African diaspora because honestly, uh, me personally, I have learned a lot from speaking or engaging with the African diaspora because they are in the West and the development that has gone on in the West uh, compared to Africa, we are also climbing up a little bit. So my engagement with the African diaspora, to be honest with you, I would say it has really changed the way I think, the way I do things, especially with my time. And um, other thing that I've also learned from working with the diaspora is um, giving feedback within a certain time frame. Yes, you know, the African settings is like, okay, I will do it. So far as he would take a year to do it, he has done it. But dealing with the diaspora, I'm learning that, no, Echo, when you ask to do this, you are expected to give a feedback around that same time or the time that has been the time frame that has been given you. You understand? So, and talking about development, there are a lot of things I am, you know, embarking on with a lot of diasporas and they'd be like, Echo, I think if we should do this, you know, most of the African diaspora understand the African system. So they come or they approach things with, with, with a different mentality. That Echo, I think when we do it this way, I think it will help because we have done it and this is how it is being done. So I think we should do it this way, that way, which way. And I think uh, if all of us uh, make up our mind to learn a thing or two from each other, I think it will be, it, it will be a great deal for us to you know, say that, yes, Africans can economically, culturally, politically come together with the, with the support of the diaspora. We can come together and build Africa. Yes, so this beautiful event that happened in Accra took place in Du Bois Center. Du Bois Center is, is, is one of the 
uh, tourist sites one can visit to learn about W.E.B. Du Bois. Africa, Africa is divided, I mean, the African region is divided into six um, regions with the African diaspora being the sixth one. Now, the northern part of, 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 of Africa constitutes seven countries. Talk about Algeria, Egypt, Libya, Mauritania, Morocco, Tahari, Arab Emirates, and then Tunisia. But if you realize, those at the top really have fair skin more than the other African countries. Now, come to the south. The Southern Africa constitutes 10 countries. Angola, Botswana, Lesotho, Malawi, Zimbabwe, Namibia, South Africa, Swaziland, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. And these are some of the countries that I would love to visit this year in the south. Now, I come to my own region, the western region of Ghana. I think we have the most countries. Yes, we have 15 countries. Benin, which I've been there, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, Cape Verde, La Côte d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea, Liberia, Mali, Nigeria, Niger, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo, which I have also been. Now, come to the eastern part of Africa. We have 14 countries closer to the west. So that is Comoros, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Kenya, Madagascar, Mauritius, Rwanda, Seychelles, Somalia, South Sudan, Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda. And Uganda. So Africa is beautiful. I mean, I love the names though, but you know, history tells me that Africa was just one country. But then the colonial masters came in and divided us. Now let's go to the central part of Africa, which has nine countries. Talk about Burundi, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Equatoria, Guinea, Gabon, Sao Tome, and Principe. Yes. Now the sixth one, which we are talking about right now, which we are happy to have uh, seen or to have unveiled the flag to represent is the African diaspora. And it has over 170 million people. 170 million people around the world. Now, people of African region living outside the continent, irrespective of their citizenship and nationality, and who are willing to contribute to the development of the continent and building of the African Union is the African diaspora. <laughs>